Okay, section 5.4 is on parametric equations. And parametric equations are when both the x and y are defined in terms of another variable, sometimes referred to as a dummy variable. And that variable could be t or maybe theta or z or who cares, but it's a different uh, variable. Often we use t for time, or maybe we might use theta for some angle measurement or whatever. Now, what you can do is just put in different values for t, and I just put in from negative 3 up to 3 and run them through the x of t function and run them through the y of t function, and you get xy coordinates, then you plot these xy coordinates. For example, if I substitute negative 3 into the x of t function, well, negative 3 squared is 9, 9 minus 1 is 8, and when I substitute negative 3 into the y of t function, 2 times negative 3 is negative 6, negative 6 plus 1 is negative 5, so it would have this coordinate 8, negative 5. Do the same with negative 2 and so on, and you end up with these coordinates. Then if you plot these on a piece of paper, you would get something that looks like this, and you might get the idea that this is a sideways parabola. And if we connect those with a smooth curve, it would look like a sideways parabola. Parabola, And again, you could graph these on the Excel sheet, and I will in just a second. But another thing you could do to graph these is to solve one of the variables for t and then substitute it into the other function. So what I'm going to do is do that here a second, and it says we can solve the parametric equation x of t or y of t, either one, for t, and substitute it into the other function. For example, if we solve x of t equals t squared minus 1, and y of t equals um, uh, 2t plus 1, we would solve... Um, uh, let's solve one of them, the x one, x equals t squared minus 1 for t, and if you do that, you would add 1 and get t squared equals x plus 1, and then take the square root of both sides, and when you take the square root of t squared, you actually get the absolute value of t, uh, and so that would actually be uh, plus or minus the square root of x plus 1. Now substitute this into the y of t function, and you would get y of t equals 2 times plus or minus the square root of x plus 1 plus 1. That 2 can go right here instead of before that, but it's plus or minus 2 times the square root of x plus 1 plus 1. And this is definitely a sideways parabola whose vertex point is at negative 1, 1. Now, it's pretty easy to graph these on Excel. Here's the two functions. x of t is t squared minus 1 and y of t equals 2t plus 1, and on Excel, you would go to the, uh, to the any graph sheet, and if you scroll real far to the right, you'll find a place to graph parametric equations. And in there, right here, you type in equals, and that function was t, and you actually use t, not x, t squared, I think it was plus 1, and hit enter. And right here, the function was, now I think this one, to tell you the truth, was minus 1, let me fix that up. And then this one was um, 2t plus 1. So I'll type that in here. 2 times t plus 1. But remember to use t's, not x's. And then what we need to do is click the uh, button right here to get the graph. And then I set your, my viewing window to be from negative uh, 5 to 5, or you could uh, make it negative 3 to 3, whatever you like there. And uh, you can see that this is a sideways parabola, and it does look like the vertex point is right over here about negative 1, 1. In fact, let's go from negative 1 to 1, and you can see this point real good here that the vertex point is at that spot.